All right, welcome back. So you can see there's still a little bit of red, but it's much less red compared to before. And this is still quite brown. No red really added to it because I didn't use that brush. Now I actually washed the brush, but there's still quite a bit of red in it. And that is from doing the edges. So I have edges all over all different pieces of it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use Sephira Renovateur and I'm going to start to restore this leather because this is pretty harsh and can dry it out. Now, sometimes you really want to be nice to the leather. You do a dub-in treatment after this. Uh, if you go to the Kirby Allison videos, that's what he recommends. But dub-in takes a couple days to dry. Uh, it's absolutely wonderful for stiff leathers. It can... Uh, really bring them back but because these are in pretty good shape I'm not going to do that here uh, but if you ever want a pair of shoes that is absolutely supple to the touch um, dubbin can soften up the uh the most stubborn shoes all right and again you, i'm being more generous with this than i normally would because this is really a drying process and the leather needs an opportunity to soak in some stuff for what it has lost in the drying process. So now we still have some coloration issues. If I wanted to go a lot further, I would do that. But in truth to all of my video series, I really wanted this to be short and sweet, the fast way to do it, and not to take two, three hours on a project like this. All right, so there's that, starting the drying process. Uh, now this, we've got to re-moisturize. You can see there's a bunch of stuff on the top, top there. Um, many guys would probably sand this down, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna, Remoisturize and get this back to where we were before. Now, a little bit of red coming through when it's wet, to be expected. Now, I like the variation of having screwed up a little here and screwed up a little there, having each shoe come out a little different. That doesn't bother me. A lot of guys are very um, cautious <laughs> about stuff like that, but that's that's not me. I feel like this part of the process is part of what gives my shoes their character and may be different for your shoes and your shoe's character. Like there's a spot right down there. I could have gotten in deeper, but the welts are reasonably clean and it's had some time uh, to, uh, to dry. And now we're going in and going back to this. Now, we talked a little bit about dubbing and I'm gonna pull it out so you know what it looks like. Saphir makes a couple different dubbins. This is the BTC version, which is the less expensive version. But this is essentially pure animal fat that you're rubbing into the shoes and they just absorb it like you wouldn't believe. And as I said, it works really, really well, but can take 48 hours to dry that we don't have. 